Hello everyone, today we're going to be drawing a West African drum with um, also some designs of the kente cloth. So we're going to kind of combine two things. Alright, so let's begin. Um, so first we're going to start off with the drum. And we're going to start off with an oval on the top. Then we're going to start on one side, we're going to bring it down. And then go to the other side, kind of bring it down. Now going down to about right here in the middle of your paper, just make a little dot. And you're going to take your side and kind of round it off so you get to that dot. And then you're going to do it the same way on the other side. So you kind of look like you have a bowl. Now we're going to go from the one side of our dot, so off to the side, and we're going to go out. And we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Now we're going to close that with a rounded line. All right, so on the top is our drum and this is our stand. Let me sharpen my pencil. <laughs> so on the bottom here, uh, we'll come back to that in a second. That's where we're going to do a lot of our design. On the top here, let's start working on our drum. So on the um, drums are made usually with like a, like a piece of leather or a piece of like animal hide stretched on like I would say like kind of like this bowl or form so it's usually stretched by using like these like clamps so we're going to add kind of these like marks on the side they're like c-shapes and we're going to do that all the way around now once I get to that middle I'm going to switch which way the c is going so the c was going this way now the c is going to go the other way All right, and I'm going to bring this, uh, I'm going to add another line here that goes around and it's curved. So it looks like the fabric or the hide is going around that. Now we're going to jump to the bottom and we're going to add in our kente cloth designs. So a kente cloth is a textile that has a lot of different patterns on it. Um, mostly simplified patterns such as using different lines, um, shapes like triangle, circle, square, um, but not really anything complicated. So you wouldn't see really any hearts or dime, you know, hearts or stars. So mostly lines. So what we're going to do down here is we're going to divide this up. So let's start from the top here and we're going to draw a curved line going over. So let's continue to add some curved lines. Some can be bigger. So I'm going to keep those the same. Maybe this one is a little bigger. Maybe this one is going to be a little smaller. So I have about one, two, three, four, five. Um, you can have anywhere from four to five sections on the bottom here. So we're going to start back at the top here, and we're going to kind of divide this one up into three pieces. All right. The next one, we're going to go right down the middle and divide it up into two. Now we're going to go ahead and do what we did on the first one. Again, so it's three. And then two. And three so it almost looks like brick okay uh, now we're going to kind of make a pattern so starting in this block let's do let's do straight lines just in that one in this middle one let's switch it and maybe do circles so we're making a pattern so it went vertical lines circles this one's going to be vertical lines. So let's go to the next row. So it could be a different pattern. So let's do zigzag line and maybe we'll add in triangles. Over here maybe we do the same zigzag line but we flip where the triangles are. Now, even though they're similar in pattern, it's a different pattern. So let's go to the next one. We can do the same pattern we did up there on the next one. So vertical, circle. You can always flip it. You can always do your circles out here and then your vertical on the inside. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Triangles. Then on this one, I'm going to do my three circles. Now for this top part, we're going to pick out a couple um, simple shapes that we can add across. So I'm going to take some shapes that I already have down here. I'm going to do triangles. And I'm going to start from the middle. And I'm going to do a triangle going up. And a triangle going down then I'm going to add because I did circles I'm going to add a circle and then do it again so triangle up triangle down circle and then go ahead and do it to the other side all right so there's our drum the next step is going to be outlining so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now For the top of your drum, choose a color like brown or gray or tan so it kind of resembles like an animal hide. Now you can choose to color the next part below from the top of your drum also that color or you can make it a different color. Next, when coloring your patterns, keep in mind we want them to be symmetrical, so whatever you do to one part, you need to do to the other parts as well. So I colored my triangles red and orange, and now I'm going to be coloring my circles yellow, and I do that all the way across. Don't be afraid to use a different medium such as crayon or color pencil to get different colors. Just as you did at the top, make sure that when you're coloring your patterns that they are symmetrical so they all should be the same depending on what color you used. 